All right, in this video I have probably one of the coolest uh, pairs of clap sneakers that I've seen this year that literally nobody's been talking about. I did see this on Adidas website and I honestly didn't know much about uh, this collaboration, but it was one that piqued my interest. I reached out to Adidas and they actually sent me a pair. So without waiting any further, we have the Explorer Boost with Adidas, but done by Helen Kirkham, who if you're not familiar with, hopefully I will give you guys some information about who she is. But I like this, first of all, from the box, it says very important things contents and then has a couple stars right there it also does have uh, a nice little clean branded logo there but the shoes is by far and away where these uh, things shine so honestly in images online it looks kind of crazy it looks kind of wild when you get them in hand you're like holy moly like they they definitely went in and did a crazy uh, job with this collaboration it's definitely out of the box different something that you're not used to seeing and has a really nice like homemade sort of appeal uh, to the product. So first, if you guys haven't seen, I've done reviews on the Explore Boost previously on my YouTube channel. I love that shoe. It's kind of like that Sleeper Adidas Boost pair that was released. And honestly, it's kind of difficult for you guys to tell which pair of Adidas shoes are gonna be the ones that are gonna be comfortable. There's a ton of different models that come and go. The Explorer Boost was one that I found as a complete standout. Uh, you can get them as low as like $60 on sale for some colorways, but it's a really exceptional pair of sneakers from the comfort perspective. It's not a running shoe like the Adidas Ultra Boost Lite or the Addy Zeros, but it is very comfortable uh, overall on feet, at least on my feet. Now you have the collaboration version, which is different than the standard pair, which is something that uh, I really appreciate. They did take the three uh, stripes on the cages and then kind of transform that a little bit. It looks like this is done uh, with kind of recycled materials. And then really for the entire upper, I mean, both of these shoes actually have different patterns on the toe box, as well as uh, the orange and like pink materials on the shoes. So I love the overall appeal of these shoes where it kind of looks just like leftover fabrics that they actually crafted into a pair of sneakers, which is actually something that Helen Kirkham is actually known for uh, already. I found this video on their Instagram and it's crazy that they can just take and create so many cool things uh, with just leftover pairs of sneakers, like really just cutting apart the pairs of sneakers and then upcycling them to different pairs or just other things uh, completely. I just, I just like the idea of upcycling in general. And this shoe feels like it's upcycled just uh, from the overall general appearance. Not only is it the knit materials all over the upper, but obviously, as I mentioned, the three stripes on the cage, as well as that plastic that's sandwiched in between uh, the Adidas Boost. It is done in kind of like a recycled plastic as well. And I think that looks really awesome. Also, there's no traditional lacing on here. I like uh, the overall style and the look of the lockdown on this pair as well. It has a very fluid and functional appeal, the way that the laces are just a little bit stretchy and it's just very well contained. And also there is a little bit of a fused overlay across the toe cap of the shoe, which I think adds a little bit as well, kind of like a gummy uh, color. And then probably the coolest feature on the shoe that is probably gonna rub off, but honestly it just looks really cool. For the rubber outsole of the shoe, you can see there's extra material that kind of protrudes out the sides all the way around the shoe, giving it a very unfinished sort of look, which I actually appreciate. I think it looks really nice. And if you hear any uh, uh, crazy noises in the backdrop. I do have one of these sitting around here that's chewing on things. And by one, I mean two. I have two of them right here. Like this is the other one. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to record downstairs right now so I'm not leaving them alone and they're kind of um, chewing on toys. So I apologize for the background noise. But anyways, back to the shoes. It really has not like an unfinished look just in general or like kind of a quilted uh, appeal where it's homemade. And I like that both of the shoes are not exactly the same. The color combinations that they used on here I think look really nice and just not something that I would have considered. Like orange, pink, grays, like kind of like a, a grayish blue, green. There is lots of stuff going on here similar to what is happening in my house where there's construction where the door is open. I can't, uh, I can't get a W today. Anyways, a little bit about this shoe. It is $190. I would say that the fit is true to size. I'm a 9.5, it fits me right. Uh, the color is officially aluminum core black lucid lime. And it says hand-drawn stripes, triple webbing back loop for stomping down the heel, vibrant stock materials giving unique knit patterns and factory infographics. Inspired by the way we move around urban environments, collecting subtle everyday mementos. From scuffs embedded into our shoes to the receipts that line our wallets. Each becomes a token added to the collage of our life. And also on their website, I found this, at Helen Kirkham Studio, we celebrate the process of wearing and making in all of our products. Utilizing recycled and dead stock materials to create artisanal and authentic pieces. We champion design through making, celebrating the nuances of the handmade and the system of production. Driven to create meaningful pieces that express playful individuality, spontaneous and concise creativity, and process-driven craft. That's a lot of fancy words and I appreciate it. Uh, these things are crazy. Also, there is a little bit of a tag right here that does say Helen Kirkham, if that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, but all in all, like this is one of those collabs that I was like, I, I was very, very interested in seeing it. 
Um, now that I have them in hand and on feet, it's comfortable because it's the Explorer Boost, which I already know and I love that model, but it's done in such an awesome way where it's kind of like a Virgil Abloh off-white sort of appeal where it's, you know, the raw, like, uh, early stages form of a product, but it's also done in a way where it's like this upcycled fun feel uh, made with a bunch of crazy colors that just go together well. Anyways, if you guys are interested in buying a pair of them, they are $190. I will link them in the description of the video. I have not seen these go on sale yet on Adidas website. They've been out there for a little bit. Uh, as soon as they do drop on sale though, I will post these immediately on Twitter and uh, through social. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, feel free to do so. It's at Heskicks. Uh, highly recommend it if you are into the deals. But again, I'll link these in the description of the video if you guys are interested in purchasing. And thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Thank you Adidas for sending this pair over. It was really an awesome one just because it's so different and I love the unique storytelling that this model has and it's definitely one of my favorite models from adidas in the last two years but uh, there's a lot of road noise and dogs in the background i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day appreciate you all for stopping by and watching have a great one all right peace guys